so excited. It's oh, they're waving. <laughs> Hello and welcome back everyone to another beautiful episode here in Japan. Today we have a lot installed today. We are going to a Japanese garden doing some crazy activities. Let's go. <laughs> Checking out some amazing sights, meeting some amazing Japanese people, and just having a blast here in Japan. I'm so glad you enjoyed my previous video, my first impressions of Japan. So let's make today our day out in Osaka. So join me as we have a whole lot of fun exploring this city. Look at that soft serve. Hey guys, my name is Jack Tor and welcome to my YouTube channel. Tell you what, the streets of Japan are very quiet in the morning. Most people ride bicycles or just take the metro or get the train. The cars that you do see are the toaster looking cars or the mini looking cars. So, so yeah, it's actually quite nice because the noise pollution is also down. The real time pollution is also down. It'll be crazy when Japan goes fully electric for electric cars, then there'll be like silence on the road. It'll be crazy. Look, so many bikes. <laughs> Radio, so we're off to our first activity today. We've got to get on the red line towards platform two, towards Senrichio, I believe I'm saying that right, maybe. <laughs> so let's go. Today's an extremely lovely day too. Like, look at these blue skies behind me. We have came in the best season of autumn. Radio, so we just got off the metro. Now we've got to get on the Osaka monorail. So let's go. So we just got off the monorail and we've made it to our first stop here for today which I'll show you guys in just a second but I just want to show you this massive car park behind me and I've only got this little section filled with cars so that goes to show how very few cars there actually are in Japan and as I was saying before it proves my point there's not many cars people just use public transport it's so lovely but I'm just seeing this amazing view of this uh, monorail coming in now so take a look at this So we have just reached our first activity for today. This is the Osaka Ferris wheel at Expo City and this Ferris wheel is the biggest Ferris wheel in Japan and you're about to come on it with me. So let's go. So once again, we're using our Asaka Amazing Pass to get on this ride for free. Only 3,600 yen for this, which is very affordable. Okay, so we made it in. So excited. It's, oh, they're waving. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest Ferris wheel in all of Japan, perhaps even in all of Asia, but I don't know that. So this is 123 meters, which is actually the same height of the Twin Towers that we went up in the last video. So if you haven't seen that video, check that out here. Um, so yeah, let's go up and see this view. We are officially now at the very top. <laughs> you can see all over the city, literally to where the mountains are. The whole city, you can see mountain, the mountain range around the whole city of Osaka. It is epic. I have to say though, the infrastructure and these roads and the monorails and everything just flows. It all just works. 
Everything's so clean, well thought out, well designed. So I'll just quickly go through some of the landmarks that are around here that we'll be able to see. So right here we actually have Tower of the Sun, which is um, a famous land famous landmark on the outskirts here of Osaka. So this is Tower of the Sun here. Next to it we have um, a Japanese garden. And then over here we have Expo City Mall. They also have a welcome floor mat as you come in as well. I tell you what, the Japanese are so extra. Every little detail they think about with everything. Radio, so we just got to the bottom now, so we're gonna go and head over to the statue and check that out. And also check the uh, gardens out around there too. So uh, let's go and see that. So we are now at our next stop in front of the Tower of the Sun. So we are actually in the place where the 1970 Expo of the commemorative memorial for all different countries around the world built different little expos and um, sort of exhibits. In London, a presentation of scale models of Expo 70, the international exhibition to be held in Osaka from March to September next year. Under the vast canopied roof of the British Pavilion, third largest there, an investment in overseas promotion costing two and a quarter million pounds. Like Britain, Japan is a highly industrialized country, still taking great pains to preserve its traditions. So for a bit of context, there's one every five years. The last one was in Dubai and this one was in 1970. So we're gonna go around here and check them out and see what they were back then and how they were built. But let me tell you, I already know that it's gonna be good. So we do have a massive map. So we're gonna go around here and uh, see what they have to offer. So let's go. So these expos that are every five years, so it depends on the country if they want to put in to, um, to build um, their pavilion and sort of show off their country. So this one that was in 1970, Australia wasn't actually in there. Well, I couldn't see it on the map anyway, but New Zealand, Burma, and a whole heap of other countries are in there. So we're gonna be around, going around and exploring those pavilions today. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. So we've just came down to the lake here and they actually have uh, pedalos or like pedal boats. They're actually a little bit expensive out of my budget, but uh, yeah, if you do come here and you want to pedal along the lake, you, uh, you can do that. It's probably pretty romantic too, so bring your partner if you've got one. If you don't, go by yourself. And so yeah guys, after walking around for a little bit, we realised that all of the exhibits and pavilions were very run down. Considering this was all built in the 1970s, this was no surprise. So we decided to head towards the Japanese garden. So for example, this is one exhibit here that's sort of overgrown. There's not really any entry in, but there's no security guards or anything around. But I wonder if this door, you can open it. No, it's locked. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings me to the sponsor of this video, Mantisleep. So I've been using the Mantisleep mask for a while now, and I've noticed that this thing definitely blacks out light. Don't you hate it when you buy a sleep mask and it doesn't even block out the light? It doesn't even do its job properly. Well, let me tell you, this Mantisleep mask does the job properly. It has very soft cushioning on the eyelids and very big space for your eyelids to go. So you could literally blink when you're sleeping and you wouldn't even notice. I'm blinking right now, can't see any light, and it doesn't even hurt. And it's so soft on your eyes. So this is great for if you're on a plane, train, bus, anywhere. Even if you're in an annoying hostel and someone turns on the light in the middle of the night. <laughs> we all know what that's like, we've all been there. So use my code JACKTOR at checkout to get 10% off your man to sleep mask. Now back to the video. One toaster car, two toaster cars, four toaster cars. We have now just entered in the uh, rose garden, which is really, really lovely. I actually love roses. Um, on my parents' farm, they actually have roses too, but due to the recent rain, they actually, the roots got rotted and died. Australia's been like pretty much flooding, getting so much rain, but these, um, these roses are really, really cool. Lovely garden. You can smell it too. 
really can smell it. I wish I could like push some scent through this camera so you guys could smell it. <laughs> Let's walk around here and have a little look. Check out all these koi carp. Wow, there's so many. Look at the size of that one. So right now we are walking into the Japanese garden and I'm so excited to show you guys this because there is two really good seasons for, cin for cinematography in Japan. Number one, cherry blossoms. Unfortunately, we're not here for that. But number two is when autumn comes. And as you can see here, this is really picturesque. Yeah. One thing as well that I've noticed about Japan is it is so quiet. So every time I vlog, I feel like I'm disturbing the peace because everyone is just so silent, so calm, so chill. Like no one says anything unless they need to. It's like, it's so different. There's no one else here. If you want to come to Japan, come this year, come now, before everyone flocks in. Now is the time to come. Like sure, we've seen a few people here and there, but it's pretty special. Old Japan, so this old Japan, so this old Japan, so this old Japanese man just here was uh, taking photos of the flower. I didn't catch it on film, but he went up and he blew all of the dust out of the flower before he took a photo. It's so nice to see people who are retired just doing their own little thing, and that's his hobby, you know. It's oh, so cool. Strawberry coin. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you very thank much. You. Have a thank nice you. day. See you. Wow. <laughs> Look at that soft serve. Let's give this a taste. Oh, that is good. Wow. That is probably. Yep. That is the best soft serve I've ever had in my life. We just got out of the metro station then and we are now heading to our next activity so stay tuned for that one i'm just loving japan every single thing that we go to is just leveling up my expectations it's just awesome so uh, yeah let's go So this tower here, that's where we're going right now. So let's go. 
<laughs> and so we just got up to the top of the tower and this view is amazing. Oh my gosh, look at this. And the sun's setting too, so wow. I'm going to go on the slide. There's no filming allowed, but I'm going to try and sneak this GoPro on there. So let's see how we go. Radio, right got my mat, got my helmet. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We just came into this local sushi restaurant. We saw the board out the front for 900 yen for two people and we just said it was completely in Japanese. We just pointed at that and we said, can we have one? We have no idea what we're getting. They have a very professional sushi chef here. As you can see, this kitchen is very traditional. So I'm very excited to try this one. Um, so yeah, let's see what comes out. I have no idea. Radio. so our sushi just came out. So, let's give this a try. I think you just pick it up like this. Dip. And you dip it in this sauce. Right. Mm. Mm. It just melts in your mouth. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. That's really, really good. So, thank you so much for coming along with me, being right beside me for today in Osaka, Japan. And as always guys, keep it real. Cheers. Cheers.